The diffusely hypokagenic pattern proves that the patient has autoimmune disease. The thyroid is enlarged. The vascularization is normal in the right lobe. Images of the left thyroid are shown. Note the presence of fibrotic changes. The vascularization is increased in this lobe. In the video, at first the horizontal view of the right thyroid, then the longitudinal scan can be observed. It is worth noting the presence of fine connective tissue which is rarely seen in intact or nodular goiters. This fine structure divides the thyroid into subunits. The more extensive fibrotic changes may lead to false diagnosis of multinodular goiter first of all in the so-called pseudonodular form of Hashimoto's thyroiditis.